Hello, Hugo, Ellie, and Ollie. It's Mama here, and I'm going to read you another book, and it's called The Berenstain Bears and the Truth. No matter how you hope, no matter how you try, you cannot make truth out of a lie. It was a lazy sort of day in bear country. The air was so still that the leaves on the big tree house where the bear family lived were hardly rustling. Except in the beehive, where the bees were always busy, nothing much seemed to be happening. It was the sort of day that sometimes leads to mischief. There, they're just kind of lolling around. Inside the tree house, brother and sister bear were sitting around, not doing anything in particular. Brother was holding his soccer ball. He'd become interested in soccer and had been outside practicing free kicks. Sister was relaxing in an easy chair and thinking about what to do next. They look like they're having a very lazy day. Neither Papa nor Mama Bear was around. Papa was in his shop working on some furniture and Mama was out shopping. I know what, said Sister. Let's go gather some wild blackberries. Hmm, brother thought about that. No, he said, well, blackberries have too many thorns. And besides, the seeds get stuck in your teeth. Well, then, said sister, let's go outside and twist each other on the swing and see who gets dizziest. Brother thought about that. No, he said, that's silly. And besides, we did that yesterday. Sister became irritated and impatient with brother. My goodness, she complained. You don't want to do anything. All you want to do is sit there and hug that soccer ball. I think you must be in love with that soccer ball. I am not protested brother, but I'll tell you something. I bet I can dribble this ball past you. Brother was a pretty good soccer player and a very good dribbler, but so was sister. Oh, it looks like she's going to take on the challenge. The only one who saw what happened next besides the Cubs was a mockingbird who was perched on a twig outside an open window. Brother faced sister. The ball was on the floor between them. First brother moved the ball to the right with his, with his right foot. Then with his left foot, trying to trick sister out of position. Then quick as a flash, he gave the ball a sharp kick with his right. Uh-oh, do you think you should be, that they should be playing soccer in the house? Hmm, I can see maybe a problem might develop. <gasps> Uh-oh, it almost worked, but sister was too fast. She, she reached out with her knee and blocked the ball, which then bounced against a bookshelf, against a chair, against a footstool, <gasps> and into Mama's most favorite lamp, which fell to the floor with a crash. <gasps> Uh-oh. The mockingbird let out a screech and out of there as fast as its wings could carry it. As it flew away, it saw Mama Bear returning from the marketplace. Now, the Bear family had some house rules, just as any family has. One was no eating honey in bed. Another was no tracking mud on clean floors. And another one was no ball playing in the house. Uh-oh, they broke one of the house rules what to do brother looked at sister and sister looked at brother and they both looked at the broken lamp and they both listened in horror as mama came up the front steps and into the house all brother had time to do before mama came into the room was roll the ball behind papa's chair my lamp said mama my best lamp what happened she asked looking into her cub's eyes tell me about it the cubs looked into Mama's eyes, then they looked at each other, and then they began to tell one of the biggest whoppers that has ever been told in bear country. A whopper is a big lie. It was a bird, began brother. Yes, said sister, a big purple bird with yellow feet and green wingtips, added brother. And a funny, funny looking red feather sticking out of its head, said sister, as the finishing touch. As most lies do, the purple bird whopper got bigger and bigger and bigger. Hmm, I don't think Mama's buying it. <gasps> the cubs began to tell. Oh, wait a minute. I think that goes up here. 
Yes, continued the cubs. And it flew into the window, in that window, zoomed around the room and knocked over the lamp. As Mama Bear was looking at the broken lamp with a sad expression on her face, Papa Bear came in from his shop. The cubs began telling him the story of the big bird that flew in the window and broke the lamp. It was harder to tell the second time. For one thing, they couldn't re quite remember how they had told it the first time. Hmm, I don't think Papa Bear's buying it either. You've got me confused, said Papa. Was it a purple, purple bird with green wingtips and yellow feet? Or a yellow bird with purple wingtips and green feet? Or was, a, was it a white bird with black spots? Like that soccer ball behind my easy chair. But the thing that really made it hard the second time was how very sad Mama looked as she picked up the pieces of the broken lamp. Mama, we're really sorry about the lamp, said brother. Oh yes, said sister, picking up the last piece and putting it in the dustpan. Oh, said Mama, I'm not worried about the lamp. We can always get another lamp or we can glue this one back together. What I'm sad about is the thought that maybe, just maybe, my cubs, whom I've always trusted, aren't telling me the truth. And trust is not something you can put back together again. That's very, very true. Both cubs started to talk at once. It wasn't a bird, said sister. It was a soccer ball. And it was all my fault, shouted brother. It was just so, just as much my fault, shouted sister. But they both shouted, were doubt, they were both shouted down by the phone, which rang loudly. It was Grizzly Gran inviting the Bear family for a Sunday visit. Hello, Gran, said Mama. Oh, everything is just fine here in the treehouse. How is everything with you? But Mama, protested sister after Mama hung up the phone, you told Gran that everything was just fine here and that isn't really the truth. Oh, but it is, answered Mama. We've got two fine cubs who have just learned a very important lesson about telling the tru truth. And what could be finer than that? Now let's help Papa glue the lamp back together. Yes, because that's good news that they did tell the truth in the end. Nobody really expects cubs to be perfect. And from time to time, brother and sister did forget the rules. Brother ate honey in bed a couple of times. Whoops. One time sister tracked a little mud on the clean floor. And once or twice, brother and sister started to play ball in the house before they remembered not to. But they never, ever again told a whopper because trust is one thing you can't put back together once it's broken. So as hard as it is to tell the truth sometimes, it's way better to tell the truth and get it out of the way. And then you don't feel guilty about it and everybody knows and then people can be forgiven because people are always forgiven if they've ever not told the truth. And if, and if ever you have an accident and do something by accident, it's better to say that you did it because sometimes then it stays with you and then, and then it becomes like a bad thing in your head and you want to forget about it, but you can't because you know that you've not told the truth. So always tell the truth to Papa and Daddy. I love you. I miss you. And I will see you again soon. Bye.